Hi, I'm Sir Samursa, this is Stuff You Like, and this is Sherlock Episode 3, The Great Game. Things we learn. Sherlock can be a grammar freak, and when not on a case or on drugs, he gets... Bored. Bored! No. Bored! Bored! I love canon references. What? Okay. So Sherlock and John have a domestic, John storms off, and then this happens. <laughs> Drama! John gets his own subplot revolving around the Bruce Partington plans. There's a bohemian letter, five pips, that's enough, and a woman gets strapped to a bomb. Sherlock solves a few mysteries. Molly, who's been logging onto the fourth wall in Pastel Shades, gets a boyfriend, and explosions happen. Speaking of logging onto the fourth wall, the tie in websites are really worth a look, especially Sherlock's forum and any of John's comments, which are just a gold mine of comedy. Now, without giving too much away, you should watch this episode because of reasons. Okay, fine. Reasons like this. I saw it on the telly. It's good. It's good deduction, yeah. I'm, I'm serious, Sherlock. John? The you. What? That the paintings are fake. And then, of course, we have... Moriarty! Moriarty. Moriarty. Yes, Moriarty, and I will give nothing away. This is my favourite of the three episodes, but the cliffhanger is pure, unadulterated evil and will cause you to jump out of your seat at the end like this. No! Of course, I didn't do that. And my mother-in-law didn't laugh at me at all. And it wasn't sad. <sighs> Watch this show. It's funny, it's slick, and the dialogue is so sharp that you could cut yourself. Next time is Ken's Wrath Chronicles by PC Hodgell, so I will see you then. Bye. Let him go, or I will kill you. <laughs>